Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back to Scary Ghost, caught on camera number 54. So before I get into this, just want to say please hit subscribe button, hit thumbs up, trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. Also, check out my community wall, posting TV show and movie reactions for free. And yeah, let's get into this. The Randonautica app claims to use the law of attraction to find a nearby adventure. Released in February 2020, the app was developed by Joshua Langfelder. Users are given coordinates on a map that they can follow and report their findings. It professes to channel the intentions of its users yeah, in order crazy. to lead them to relevant spots of potential adventure nearby. Users must think about what they'd like to get out of their session before focusing their intentions. According to the devs themselves, the app is an attractor of strange things. The app gained controversial attention when a group following their prescribed coordinates found a suitcase containing two dead bodies in oh. Dynamish, West Seattle. Oh my. Since the discovery, many have speculated that the app has an eerie ulterior motive. This has led to an explosion of Randonautica videos appearing on Reddit and TikTok. As for the veracity of these videos, viewers will have to brave viewing them for themselves. You can decide for yourself just what is real and what is not. Posted to the TikTok channel Randonautica 2, this clip shows what a well-executed Randonautica video can actually do. Okay. The video opens with the camera panning around an abandoned building. Both the camera work and the angle in which the video is filmed gives viewers the sense they're experiencing this TikTok firsthand. Looking around, we see trash scattered around the ground yeah, and walls defiled with graffiti. The camera pans around a corner of the building outside. The video now focuses on an eerie humanoid shape huddled in the corner. The hell? Naked too. Ugh. No mummies. Hunched over and exposed, the figure seems to leap at the camera just before the what? footage cuts out. No mummies. No mummies. Unfortunately, there's very little info available about ooh, this ooh, Randonautica ooh. clip. We don't know where it was filmed or who even filmed it. This has led many viewers to suggest that the whole video is staged. Others, however, think the figure is a homeless person looking to scare the camera holder away. Probably homeless. So what do you think? Hoax, homeless person, or something far more sinister? Could be a homeless person. Could be a creature. We'll never know. Uh, love to hear your opinions on this one in the comments section below. No this next scary Randonautica video was uploaded by TikTok user Kelly Velarez. Velarez and company found themselves faced with a creepy supernatural sighting. The group is pulled over on the side of the road. They look back at what appears to be two men walking down the road toward their vehicle. The okay. figures walk at a slow pace, but nothing seems out of the ordinary. However, the reason for the group's panic soon becomes evident. Yo, what the fuck? As the video pans over to the vehicle's rear oh, view camera, no. the camera shows nothing but the road behind them. Yeah, no, Just it's where the two men should be visible, the vehicle's camera has picked up nothing. Oh my god, okay. People. The camera pans back and forth between the men and the camera. They're still slowly walking towards the vehicle wow. where it can't be seen in the rear vision camera. Go, oh oh, what are you waiting for? This video around? has racked up millions of views and stirred up quite a controversy in the comments section. <clears throat> Why is it uh, the camera? You can't see this white building either on it. Man, same with. Something tells me that's the wrong video. I don't know. But if not, that, then they are on there way, way back there. Same with that little dot in the camera on the phone. There might be a building way back there, so they might be in the pic. I don't know. It's messed up. Some people think it's faked. 
Others think it shows a glitch in the matrix or perhaps even some ghosts. Love to get your opinions on this strange piece of footage in the comments section below. Uploaded what to the TikTok hell? by Chris C's Ghosts, this next video may be slightly more mystifying to the potential skeptic. Captured looks in broad like, daylight, uh, a group of friends were. This looks like some kind of ancient torture device. Oh my god. Led to an eerie field via the Randonautica app. This video is unlike other scary Randonautica videos. Instead, it offers a factual, neutral account of what Chris found in this field. This makes the video that much creepier. The area is filled with coffins arranged haphazardly, along with other mysterious implements. And in the creepy back area, we found a lot of coffins. And the uploader opens one of the coffins, only to find the lid has been lined with large spikes. Right. And we got curious and opened one, and there were spikes inside. And he cites the. To be honest, they don't name pointed spikes, so I don't know what those are. Coffin's resemblance to the design of the classic Iron Maiden torture device. This makes the presence of these coffins even more alarming. It's name pointed spikes. The hell? An innocuous looking table nearby is also quickly exposed as something more disturbing. Upon gently adjusting torture the table, rack. its resemblance to another medieval torture device becomes yep. apparent. One of those tables that you like, tie people to and uh, torture them. So, uh... Last but not least, ominous ropes are seen strewn along the ground. This could imply that something or someone has recently made an escape. Mad sketch. Maybe if you blow this up. Chilling and disturbing enough on its own, Chris ends the video by suggesting he may return to the same spot at night. This promises an even more ominous adventure. Yeah, Mad you sketch. could be the one going in there Maybe next. Maybe if you blow this up, we'll come back at night. Some of the scariest Randonautica videos out there contain events too odd to be unreal. Such is the case in this chilling video posted to the TikTok account Frozen Meals. They begin by explaining the prompt the app gave them. The app began by first pointing the two girls in the direction of a detention center, seemingly not too far from their location. Okay. So we decided to play Rando Nautica, and it took us to this random detention center. Either thinking this to be innocent enough or the start of a creepy Rando Nautica adventure, the girls decided to take the risk and make the drive out to the detention center. Eerily, when they arrive at their destination, one of the girls receives an anonymous text asking if they're real. From a random ass number that said, are you real? And we decided to come back to check it out. Just how the girl received the text remains unclear. Some viewers have suggested okay. perhaps it was through an open Bluetooth or location setting. Creepily enough, the girls then look over to a nearby bridge and crosswalk, only to see the word real in graffiti. Number that said, are you real? And we decided to come back to check it out. And it just says real. While the rest of the adventure I can easily know. be chalked up to the app's influence, the scribbled word and anonymous text make for troubling conclusions. Was someone stalking these girls, or is it a case of pure coincidence? Pure coincidence? Some viewers believe the Rando Nautica app may even be cursed. This would explain why so many weird and scary things have been attributed to Rando Nautica adventures already. And we decided to come back to check it out, and it just says real. It looks like somebody can climb this wall right up here when it goes all the way down and climb up there with the spray paint. Spray paint toward real. <coughs> These TikTokers unknowingly push the boundaries in this video, uploaded Weird by user Benjamin Hicks. Okay. The pair featured in the video explain that the app first guided them to an old and abandoned convent roughly an hour out of town. They explore the creepy yet beautiful remains of the once holy ground. Hey, uh, something traumatic happened that changed my life, Chad. They then decide to do what almost any teenager making a TikTok would do. They decide to film a dance challenge. As the girl right. featured in the video Wish begins to dance, however, the boy behind the camera quickly realizes something's not quite right. Oh. Right here. The hell is that? Group of people? Wait, any, any, any. Yeah. Noticing an odd shape just over her shoulder, he calls his friend's attention. 
Unsure of exactly what they're seeing, they make their way over to the odd shape. So I was looking at the right thing. What the hell is that? What at first appears to be an oddly constructed fixture quickly turns out to be something else entirely. Um, Gathered in a circle, there's a group of people all standing with their heads pressed okay, down. Okay, yeah, it's time to get out of there. No, oh they hell no. They form an no. odd cult-like practice around the no, unknown yeah, object. It's time to leave. Get in your car. Without yeah, moving there. or speaking, the group seems to be performing some ritual or rite. And you guys are next on the dinner list. Extremely unsettling, the pair of friends seem rightly disturbed by whatever it is they're looking at. The video ends with both the friends and the viewer fairly unsure of what it is they've just seen. Posted on TikTok by user Haley Egg, this rando Nautica adventure seems obviously fake, but it is fun and creepy to watch nonetheless. Okay. Opening just like other rando Nautica videos, Haley explains that the app brought her to a random park in the middle of nowhere. All right, going rando nodding, and it took us to this shitty park in the middle of nowhere. So let's see what we find. She pans the camera around and seemingly doesn't see the shadowy face Wait. peering at her. Yeah, I was going to say, you didn't see that? She pans lady? the camera around and seeming... Right here. ...he doesn't see the shadowy face peering at her from behind a tree. Yeah, right there, exactly. She explains that she crossed a bridge to explore the park further. In the distance, an eerie figure in a long black dress can be seen walking across the field of view. And this is fake? Clearly unsettled, the next clip features Haley as she walks away from the figure. She seems obviously uncomfortable with what it is she's just seen. As the video goes on, the clip stays true to classic horror clip fashion. The camera gets shaky as Haley runs, seemingly for her life. A quick cut reveals a terrifying figure. Why well, wasn't I expecting that? Holy shit, that made me jump. Bigger lunging at the camera. Look at that. The video cuts off before Haley's able to make it to her car. With the clip obviously plotted and acted out, Ooh. the video is nevertheless a good reminder of what it is that makes these clips fun. The sense of adventure and horror, as well as the blurred lines between reality and fiction, make these adventures a new form of entertainment in their own right. Oh my God, is she following us? Before we take a look at a series of creepy videos that may hint at an unsettled spirit, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. Mine too. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary videos. Also, remember to slap that like button right in the face. Hit my subscribe button as well. I could use the subscribers. Lastly, this series of scary rando Nautica videos posted by TikTok user Taylor Vasquez66 hopes to serve as a cautionary tale, deterring the curious away from the perils of rando nording. Documenting her own adventures with the app, Taylor shares more than a few spooky clips of her own. So I keep seeing that rando nut thing all over TikTok and I really want to try it out. So I just downloaded the app and I found a location that's like a mile and a half by my house. So I'm going to go check it out. The first adventure takes Taylor to an abandoned creek area. Eerie but seemingly innocent, Taylor has nothing to fear until she finds a series of disturbing and violent drawings. Oh. Then we have these random three. This one's a It's Your Birthday with the snowman with... Obviously freaked out, Taylor's senses are on high alert. The video ends with a horrific sound nearby, sending Taylor running. Okay. I swear I'm friendly. Play with me. <gasps> Feeling oh, brave, no. Taylor returns to the creek. This time she pans around the area in order to ensure that there's no one around. To her dismay, more drawings are found in the area, each creepier and more distressing than the last. Okay, these drawings are creepy. Like I should just grab them all really no. quick if they have messages on them because then like those look like symbols. As Taylor is distracted by the horrid drawings, she doesn't at first hear what appears to be the ethereal voice of a small child in the area. 
if they have messages on them because then like those look like symbols okay the clip ends abruptly when she does hear it clearly disturbed she makes a break for it i don't really see anything else so like whoa yeah nope i'd be gone you hear that she said you're gonna die tonight analyzing her nope. previous video a viewer spots the unthinkable she makes a break Listen. for it i don't really see anything else so like no, yeah. It's Analyzing her, her previous back. video, a viewer spots the unthinkable. The face of a creepy child is clearly seen peeking around a corner, looking oh. directly at Taylor's camera. No one was with me, and tell me if you guys think that looks like a ghost child, because I don't know. Clearly distraught, viewers have made the connection between the face and the voice of the girl with the disturbing drawings left behind at the scene. I don't really see anything else. So like... Having grabbed a journal from the creek area, Taylor spends this video analyzing the messages left behind. Detailing voices heard in her head and asking why her brother abandoned her, it's clear that any little girl with a diary like this would have to be seriously disturbed. The messages I wouldn't have taken it. Feeling brave after a few beverages, Taylor makes her way to the creek once again this time finding a few of the girl's possessions, including what seems to be a makeshift Ouija board. Whoa. The final video in this series... The final video in this series shows a knife found at the creek. This knife I saw sitting next to it, so I just grabbed these two things and ran. Positive something dangerous is going on, Taylor makes it clear she won't be returning to the creek after all she's seen. So what do you think's going on in this series of videos? Some viewers have speculated that the whole event is staged. Others, however, think does. the drawings look too weathered Everybody's and authentic to days. be a setup. That, coupled with the eerie sounds and mysterious ghost-like face, make this a very eerie rando nautica adventure. So why did the app lead Taylor to this strange location? Is there perhaps a story that needs to be told in order right. to give some restless spirit peace? Wow. Anyways, that was scary ghost caught on camera. I'm just going to like that. I forgot a number. <laughs> if you like that, please hit the subscribe button. Hit thumbs up. Why not leave a comment? Other than that, take care for now.